Ted Johnson calls a different defense. Dan Marino has... and Johnson collaborate on the tackle a two-yard loss well Ted Johnson was such a big factor in Monday night's game he did a good job of blitzing something he very seldom does but what he really does best stop the run he's a big linebacker good instincts good run to open the field makes the tackle well he is in his third year from Colorado and voted by his teammates as the defensive captain in essence they're saying you're our most valuable defensive player this year to Johnson now the pressure really falls on Marino down by two scores play action and he is hit at the 12 by Ted Johnson the third sack and the Patriots eating up the Miami offense Ted Johnson just blitzes and goes up over top of the blocker who's trying to block him. Watch number 52, Ted Johnson. He goes up on a round Parmalee. They didn't even slow him down. You got two backs back there, and neither one of them, Pritchett nor Parmalee, picked him up. Well, you got young offensive backs, and it's that's probably the toughest thing for them to learn to do. Pick up blitzers, get in position when those linebackers are blitzing. Hard to believe that Johnson, 240-pounder, what he really likes to do is read romantic novels. He gets inspired by those, reads to his teammates, and then he gets on the ball field and plays out the uh, action scenes. 14 to nothing. Todd Collins' interception gives the Patriots a two-touchdown lead. smothered by Ted Johnson. Johnson said his favorite authors are Sandra Brown and Judith McNaught and uh, some of the other big guys for the Patriots say, how can you read that romantic stuff? He yeah. says, you know, that's, that fulfills me. And uh, he is such a, he has a boyish look about him and yet a 20 inch neck and a 245 pound ferocity and he's over there reading some romantic novels. He's got more muscles in his neck than I have in my entire body. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Here just shy of 900 yards but only a 3.2 average. Back to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and he's to the 44 yard line a pick up a four. Johnson another tackle. But a good illustration of running forward with power and conviction. Watch number 52, Ted Johnson, comes up to stop the run. Boom. Good blocking by the right guard, McIver. Running back hits him hard, takes him down. Well, when you take a look, at here's what a linebacker has to do. You have to take on the guard first, then find the ball clear, and then make the tackle. That's an excellent play. And Bill Jabbar, number 33, long time. According to how he throws the football. Second and seven for Marino. Throws to the big tight end, Troy Drayton, and Drayton close to a first down at the 29. Drayton was saying, get me the ball more. Well, he had 39 catches this year. He should. He should yell that. Troy Drayton, number 84 on the inside, just goes down, hooks it up, and Dan Marino, this is a good pass for the Miami offense. It gives Marino a chance to get back quick, throw the ball, doesn't have to worry about the pass. the number, leading him upfield. Second and one. Two yards for Parmalee and another first down. Chad Eaton, one of those in on the tackle, number nine. Motion resets. Off tackle for a couple of the New England 48. First invasion of enemy territory in the game as we've moved on the clock to uh, under the nine minute mark. Here's what I'm talking about. Watch along the line of scrimmage. Now watch Ted Johnson is going to be number 52 is going to get up into the hole. But we'll look at everybody has got a, a man to take and then they just wipe it out. Everybody has to be in a particular slot. Parmalee finds a small opening and fights to the 50 yard line where it'll be second down and five. Mark Wheeler in on another.